Tonight we start with breaking news and a real scare for a sheriff's deputy and a young child. Good evening everyone, I'm Kariva Devine. And I'm Mitch Carr in for Mark Curtis. The Yavapai County Sheriff's deputy's home was the target of an attack. Team 12's Bianca Bono is live from Prescott Valley with the late breaking details. Bianca? Yeah, guys, you could see the home here in Prescott Valley right behind me where that shooting happened. A Yavapai County Sheriff's vehicle parked in the driveway, which is exactly why officials say they believe this shooting was targeted. I'm told more often than not that vehicle is parked there, making it clear that a sheriff's deputy lives there. Early this morning, though, around 2.30, that deputy was out working. His wife and three young children were home asleep. That's when police say someone on foot walked up, firing several gunshots into the home, one of the bullets passing directly over the head of the deputy's four-year-old child. The deputy coming back to find his home riddled with bullet holes. Thankfully, nobody was hurt, but the suspect is still at large. What would possess somebody to, to do this? I don't have specific information that anybody's uh, in danger, but my goodness, if you're, if you're cowardly and brazen enough to walk up to a police officer's house and, and fire, uh, fire shots into the house, who knows what this person's capable of? And they just need to be, they need to be found. And the sheriff elect tells me this particular deputy deputy has only worked for the sheriff's office for a couple of years and he has a very young family. There is a $6,000 reward for any information leading to the identity and the arrest of that shooter. We're live in Prescott Valley tonight. Bianca Bono, 12 News.